Today's students are living in arguably the most interesting times in the history of the world. During their lifetimes, they will see and experience amazing things. Driven by the accelerating pace of technological advancements in a growing global economy, they will see virtually every product, service, and aspect of life change again and again during their lifetimes, all of which will impact them in myriad ways. While today's students generally embrace and feel comfortable with the technological changes that they are experiencing, few of them appear to have given much thought as to how and how dramatically change will impact their lives in the future. The following video, titled, Are You Ready for the Future?, opens students' eyes to what the future will likely look like and how they can and must prepare themselves for their future.
My name is John Klipfel, Executive Director of Entrepreneurial Engagement Ohio and Co-Director of the Believe in Ohio program. I am also one of the co-authors of the video that you just saw, Are You Ready for the Future? I'd like to take a couple moments and comment on the video. While the video contains a number of compelling statements and statistics, there's two in particular I want to focus on. For all practical purposes, the Internet had its beginnings in about 1994. In the first 10 years of the existence of the Internet, most of the people in the United States became users. But the real story is what has happened in the rest of the world, and particularly in Asia. Using China as an example, in 2004, there were only about 100 million of the 1.3 billion people in China who were users of the Internet. By 2011, that number had climbed to more than 500 million. And considering that the data, which is obtained from the World Bank, is two years in arrears, at the current time, that number is probably well in excess of 600 million Chinese who are users of the Internet. What this means is in China alone, there are more than twice as many people who are on the Internet as there are people in the United States. And that's China alone. The same thing is happening to a greater or lesser degree in the rest of the world, and particularly in Asia. And as a result, what we have is an increasingly competitive world. A world that is not only competitive, but is also growing in its economic prosperity as more and more people strive to better themselves and better their lives. But perhaps the most startling statistic is the number of patents that have been issued to residents of China which is a measure of the creativity and innovation of the people in China. In 1999, only about 15,000 patents were issued to Chinese residents, whereas in 2011, that number had grown to 415,000, which is more than the United States and more than Japan and almost as much as the two of them combined. And while given that China has four times as many people as the United States, one would expect that it would have more patents issues to its residents. That being said, this is a wake-up call to our country that we are not alone in creating the future. So what are the key points that we want you to take away from the video? First of all is an understanding that technology is relentlessly transforming everything around us. Therefore, as a result of that, every product, every service, and every aspect of life will change again and again during your lifetime. And as a result of that, every business and enterprise and every job and career will in time either change, adapt, or go away. And as a result, if every product, service, and aspect of life will change and have to be reinvented, the question is, who will do that? Why not you? Fact is, our state, our country, and our future prosperity requires that your generation become the innovators and job creators of the future. The baton is being passed to you in your generation, so we want you to run with it. So how do you prepare yourself for that future? First of all, commit yourself to being a lifelong learner. Never stop learning. Probably 80 to 90 percent of everything you're going to need to know in your life hasn't been invented yet. At the point that you stop learning, you're foreclosing your future. Secondly, come to terms with the reality that technology is literally changing everything around you. Thirdly, understand and embrace technology, for it is technology that is the catalyst that is transforming the world. And if you know something about technology and science, then you can play a role in the future transformation of our world. Fourth, we ask you to learn, to think, and act entrepreneurially about everything you do. And what I mean by that is be a continual force for improvement in whatever you choose to do. An entrepreneur sees an opportunity and pursues it. An entrepreneur is one who sees a problem and finds a solution. An entrepreneur is one that sees how a product or service can be enhanced and pursues it. Simply speaking, what we are asking you to do is to Commit yourself to being a force for positive improvement. You see something that needs to be done. Don't be the one watching from the bench. Be the one who takes the initiative and moves the ball down the field. Fifth, embrace the global economy. You are no longer just citizens of Ohio or the United States. You are citizens of the world. During the course of your lifetime, you will likely see tremendous growth in the world economy, particularly in Asia. 
You must understand that that is coming and prepare yourself for it, as it will play a pivotal role in your future. And finally, we encourage you to learn about the Innovation Economy of Ohio and become part of Ohio's next generation of innovators and entrepreneurs.